And at all the moments in that new lifetime, whenever a new soul appeared on the scene, whether that new soul brought joy or sadness, and especially if it brought sadness, the little soul thought of what he had said. Always remember, he smiled, I have sent you nothing but angels. some sort of thread, some sort of unconscious running through all of us. The things that appear in our work, trust is a major part of it. The OA is certainly about the idea of drawing a group of people together in real time, in a real space, away from their smartphones, who are connecting about something and who hopefully leave storytelling hour charged with something that feels outside themselves, you know. We also believe that storytelling has to leave just the storyteller and it has to enter the audience. That happens in the OA because they have to believe even if evidence is against the idea of believing it. Our goal, whether intentionally or unintentionally, is that the audience then also mimics that and has to sort of believe it on their own. That the storytelling is complete in everybody else, not just from us, because it never was ours in the first place. Said it doesn't seem to be enough for fans who are creating an uproar, threatening to perform flash mobs outside the company's headquarters in Los Angeles and New York if they don't provide the next release date promptly. You know, there really has never been a fandom quite like this. It's fascinating to see how far fans will go to get what they want. For now, let's hear one of our favorites from part one of the show. Waiting, watching the clock, it's four o'clock, it's got to stop. Tell him, take no more. She practices her speech as he opens the door. She rolls over, pretends to sleep as he looks her over. She lies and says she's in love with him. Can't find a better man. She dreams in color, she dreams in red. Can't find a better man. Uh, were you gonna leave those there? For now, yeah. Should I not? No, it's fine.
Pretzels for me for a while. Pretzels are your favorite. Yeah, I know. Let's let's not wear it out. Again. Yeah, it's fascinating. Be afraid. This is the I third time you've watched Asia, part two. We get it. She has a pet octopus. You would get it if you actually you watched it. Whatever. Audience. Just let me know when that As hot I FBI agent really shows up at the motel. Old Knight has asked me to translate for him. My brothers and sisters in the sea think. His brothers and sisters in the sea think. Communicating with your kind is a waste of time. Kind is a waste of time. I respect it. But as things are, you never escape. All your courage and planning, not enough. I see you're hungry. Something. OA. But he could OA? Like OA? You can go with your father and be in this peace together. Or you can take the bird and find out who you really are. That isn't a fair choice. To exist is to survive unfair choices. Human nature's capacity to be influenced by television and social media has grown into a remarkable phenomenon. The power of moving images to stimulate our emotions and transport us to altered states of reality is not only astonishing, it transcends anything we could have fathomed a mere hundred years ago. With that power also brings with it the capacity to enslave entire populations. We were warned in 1984 and declared in classrooms across the nation we'd never allow this to occur in our children's lifetimes. So what happened? When did we collectively agree to surrender our control and give up any concept of privacy to electronic devices that we have little to no actual understanding of? Alexa, order me a pizza. You recently used Domino's. Would you like to try that again? Yes. 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 Order me a pizza. Order me a pizza. Yes. 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 I'm not religious, but I reluctantly participated in a vacation Bible camp one summer. I remember a vivid tale of Israelites being bitten and poisoned by snakes while wandering the wilderness. 
Moses created a brass serpent that he raised up on a staff to heal anyone who simply had the will to gaze at it. What does it tell us about the stubbornness of humanity that some of the dying refused to look? Surrounded by hundreds that were healed by trusting, many still chose death over faith. It has been said that the best place to hide something is in plain sight. What would you do if amidst the failure of humanity, you discover the world's best kept secret? Would anyone believe you? Perhaps the answer has already been provided and we've been too naive or too stubborn to receive it. I've asked myself what it would take to introduce humanity to an awareness of our condition and escape from our coma. I never guessed a few Georgetown graduates majoring economics and philosophy would be the ones to begin to crack the code of our existence. To wake up humanity, to get us moving again, and to break up the monotony of our existence by altering the narratives we'd allowed ourselves to become accustomed to. Ironically, the key to accomplishing this has been hidden within the same mechanism that enslaved us to begin with. Humans are so gullible. Because we dream? Because we like to believe in the impossible? No. The opposite. You're fine to eat that. What about the sign? Rules are meant to be broken, right? Gullible to what we think we remember is the past. We let what we think are our memories shape our reality. We're taught that magic isn't real and that science dictates the laws we're obligated to follow. Like gravity. Let's start there. So you're saying we should be open to more possibilities? To all of them. Just because things have always been a certain way doesn't mean they'll always be that way. Jake, why did you start coming to therapy? Mom was worried I'd be damaged after Dad took up with Sharon. She doesn't want a son who's mentally ill. Do you think you're mentally ill? I feel like if I am, it doesn't mean I always will be. I don't think our past determines the future. Do you miss your dad? What about your sister? Me and Sharon never really got along. You mentioned your dreams have become more vivid since you've been watching this TV show. Have you been dreaming about Sharon? Sort of. I don't really have much of a point of reference for that. I don't even remember dad's last name. I took mom's and we don't ever talk about it. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It hurts. They were gone so fast. They didn't even take the guitar the whole reason they left. Was that the reason? I doubt it. If it was, one of them would have remembered to grab it. No, I'm not saying if everyone watched the show we'd have world peace, but it would be a start. No, I'm not gonna do something crazy. Look, if someone wanted to wake up humanity, they'd get everyone to start studying quantum physics in junior high. Did you know quantum particles change their behavior just by being observed? How do they know they're being observed? Also, this just in, Switzerland built a 17 mile underground time machine that at this very moment is duplicating the Big Bang. We could blow up our entire universe at any given moment. Or what about Grand Central Station? Did you know the trains have maps inside that use planets to represent each train? And the S train that she plays the violin in front of is represented by Saturn. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. The synchronicity is beyond mind-blowing. This show is telling us something. 
No, I get that. Well, whether it's being renewed for three more seasons or not, humanity shouldn't have to wait any longer to see the bigger picture behind our existence. This is more than just a show. People deserve to see this now. And if someone doesn't do something to spread the word, well, at some point I'm gonna... What? Yeah, sure. No, it's fine. Okay, call me back. Bye. Oh my gosh, Monica told me that Janet slept with Todd. Todd, your boyfriend? Oh my gosh. Oh well. Too good for him anyways. Yeah, you are. Hey, Jay. Hey, Lucy. Don't say hi to him. Why? He's nice. He's so weird. He probably wants to recruit you for his little fan club or something. What if he locks you in a five-sided cage in his basement and makes you rewatch all 16 hours of it? Well, I think it's cute. And it's not a terrible show. I like the show, Luz, but I'm not about to commit social suicide over it. I mean, have you read his blog? <sighs> Let me. We want to learn about interdimensional travel. We followed the clues. We know it's more than just a show. We can do things with this movement. Get out of here with that shit. Please, we want to join. We're more than five. We know the password is Katoon. Knock that shit off. Try the abandoned warehouse on 21st South. I've seen a bunch of weirdos and hoodies gather in there for weeks. Thank you. <laughs> I swear to God, next time one of them freaks comes at me, I'm gonna send them straight to hell where they belong. It's a brighter day. Sometimes in my life, I need darkness to shine. I am a real star. Need the darkness to shine. I know they cross the line. All they took was time. All they took was time. All they took was time. Sometimes in my life, I need darkness to shine. That shit is so weird, I can't believe it. What's that? Kids. Yo, what's with the sign on the door over there? You get crammed in a two-man cell with four other dudes and you learn real quick what a courtesy flush is. <laughs> anyway, he was talking about that Squints dude from Sandlot with the glasses and that guy that makes those videos making fun of Eminem. Yeah, genocide. Nah, man, it's homicide. It's genocide. He says that on the lyrics. It's genocide in the lyrics, but it's called homicide. You know, this fool was in a commercial with him. Did you feel? Logic pulled it after this. Uh, hey, real quick, I had a couple ideas I wanted to run by you. I'm running out of space, and we don't have to talk about it right now, but if you'd consider a little bump. Are you trying to hustle me, dog? I mean, not a lot. <laughs> it's just, I'm limited with this thing. Jay did fine with that. You got a problem with my gear? I'm just saying, with a small increase, I could upgrade, and I think we could really take off. What do you mean? We're already blowing up. Man. Shoot the video or get the fuck out. Hey! Where I found my wings, where I found my wings, where I found my wings, where I 
found my wings. I am the type you see on TV. Posted in the springs where I found my wings. Watch me fly my wings where I found my wings. Watch me fly my wings where I found my wings. Bad bitch, she fucked for free. She on her knees saying, fuck me, please. You acting like a hoe, you fucked the whole team. Ho, went through all the bros. I was back in 17. She talks to the cops. She had to go. I'm taking all this acid. I put myself on the floor. Taking drugs to cook.
Thank you.